what up folks today I'm gonna do a little review what are what we're gonna review here is this you might say to yourself this looks like the Galaxy X3 it's not alright so this is how the situation came up my friend just got the Galaxy S3 $600 right and me and him are arguing is the Galaxy S3 really worth $600 and he says it's a great phone it is really worth the money I'm thinking nah Samsung is really beating you up right there so what I did I did a little research and I found on the internet what possibly is the best clone for the Galaxy S3 which closest closest matches the Galaxy S3 so this is the box for the clone this is the replica of a Galaxy S3 and we're going to be reviewing it taking a look at its specs um, this thing cost a little under two hundred dollars for a brand new one which is four hundred dollars less and I'm guessing and I'm trying to think is the difference between this phone and the Galaxy S3 really worth four hundred dollars is that difference really worth all that money so today we're gonna review this phone this is the Japanese variant this is the Gal this is the Japanese clo clone and stick around guys it's gonna be interesting alright this is the initial phone right here um, it looks a lot like the Galaxy S3 um, I've been using this thing for 48 hours now I got the feel of it um, it feels pretty good in the hand feels like the Galaxy S3 everything about it just screams out Galaxy S3 and we're gonna note some specs on it right now um, let's see what is the specs on here the, as you can see the buttons are in the correct places headphone jack I'm pretty sure there was there's supposed to be a microphone jack here I'm pretty sure I'm almost certain sure but there's none here um, if you look at the side volume rockers all the same this looks smooth um, charging port down here here's another mic on the back we have the Samsung logo uh, f uh, flashlight microphone and camera and on the front right here this is where we start seeing some differences um, on the front we're missing the Samsung logo on the front and there's also no notification um, light right here there's supposed to be a notification light right there um, it is slightly thicker um, if I take a look at these stats let me take a look real quick uh, the real Galaxy S3 is supposed to be 8.6 millimeters thick um, this baby right here is 9 millimeters so 0.4 millimeters thicker um, it should it should fit in most Galaxy S3 cases uh, it, yeah it should fit on it um, why did I pick this phone over all other phones this phone right here is a 1280 by 720 um, AMOLED screen right so whereas the Galaxy S3 is a super AMOLED this is a regular AMOLED screen um, close close enough right that's what I'm guessing close enough match um, so let's start some tests we see you see the physical stats right here uh, so let's start some tests let's first let's turn it off let's power off doesn't sound like the Galaxy S3 to me <laughs> alright did it start up no I think it just turned off alright <laughs> apparently the phone was still turning off now it's turning back on now it's turning on it says Samsung Galaxy S3 GT i930 that doesn't sound like the Galaxy S3 <laughs> that's Samsung All right, that took that. That was pretty. That was decent. That was decent. Um, so let's start talking about the screen. Let's start th talking about the resolution. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but this screen is very, very clear. Um, technically speaking, this screen's resolution-wise has a better pixel density. Um, the screen is 4.7 inches as opposed to the Galaxy S3's 4.8 inches. With the same 1280 by 720 resolution, we get a pixel density of 306 on the Galaxy S3. This one has a pixel density of 312. So a little bit of a higher pixel density due to the smaller, the slightly smaller screen. 
which is actually noticeable. I have I did notice the screen difference. Um, if we go in, if we go in here, um, we can start noticing some differences. Um, the top bar that is not the correct. That's not how the bar is supposed to look. Um, you might asking why does my galaxy look like this? I, it actually came looking um, the bottom part looking exactly like the Galaxy S3. However, there was an issue with the launcher. Um, I talked to the guy who's selling it, and he told me just install a new launcher. So I installed a new launcher off the App Store, and I said App Store off Google Play, the Play Store, and it worked pretty well. I'm gonna do a review of this launcher soon, but to start it off, um, this phone is it's all right. Um, the look of it, it looks very, very, very good. Um, button. If we go to settings, um, the settings looks different from the regular Galaxy S3. Um, this baby is only packing 512 megabytes of RAM, as where the Galaxy S3 will pack, um, I think, two gigs internationally and a gig if you're in the U.S. And yeah, this this thing's only packing 512. Uh, let me think. What other options do there? It's it's not since it's not an official Galaxy S3, it doesn't have S Beam. Um, there. Think of some other differences here. Uh, overall, the Wi-Fi is pretty good. Everything works. It's a solid build. It's a very good phone. Um, this right here, we had to I had to change everything because it did come problematic. However, it it does work. The phone is very good, and for the overall quality of it. Is it worth, is the Galaxy S3 really worth $400 more than this? Pretty much, uh, let me sh let me go to the dad. Agree. Alright, let's begin the test. Oh goodness. I must, very ha I must have a very fast home Wi-Fi. Yeah. All right. So, very that was that was actually pretty quick. Um, download speeds are looking at twenty five megabyte mega yeah megabytes, or is it megabits? Whatever. Um, the ping is at thirty eight, twenty five hundred for download and four thousand for upload, which is actually pretty decent, pretty good. Those are at, those are pretty pretty good speeds right there. If I might say so myself. Let's do the test one more time. Make sure that's... Those are pretty good speeds, I might say. The camera... I'm having... I, I, I don't like the way the camera is looking. The UI for the camera isn't isn't like... The Galaxy S3 camera is like this big unwanted space right here. I don't know why it's that there, but I'm gonna take a picture of this water bottle. I don't know if you guys can see that. Take a picture of this water bottle. Um, the camera is all right. It's a eight megapixel shooter. Um, same Galaxy. I'm pretty sure the Galaxy S3 is also an eight megapixel shooter with a front facing camera. What up? <laughs> Alright. Um, front facing camera, which is 2 megapixels. Um, the flash is alright. The flash isn't as strong as... It is definitely not as strong as the Galaxy S3's flash. Um, definitely not. Um, this button is very awkwardly leveled. I, it's just real awkward to get to. I don't know why. It's just very, very awkward to get to. Um, the music player is different. Um, the drop down, which is this, this is annoying me. The drop down is is very annoying. Uh, yeah, gaming. My gaming experience on this phone wasn't that bad. Um, it runs it runs a lot of games. These games will start. Let's play this game real quick. Play some Fruit Ninja. Overall, some most of the games are very. They run very well trying to play while watching this.
Yeah, whatever. You get the point. Um, it most of the games run very well. Some of the games from time to time, not really that often, they will crash on you. Um, be, just because it's only 512 megabytes. It, even though 512 is still a lot. I mean, the iPhone 4 runs on 512. Um, but I don't know if it's just the way the program, the 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 phone is set up, but. Not that often, very much not that often. They will often crash. Let's see if we start Temple Run 2. Let's see if let's see if we can get something here. I'm not saying this enough, guys, but this phone resolution is very, very good. For only two hundred dollars, your this this resolution is actually very good. You might see some lag here in there. Just a teeny weeny. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not on the screen. Just a teeny weeny bit of. Oh, I don't even know how that happened. I'm trying to look. All right, let's try. It. Let's let's try this again. Let's try this again. Actually, try to run. Just a teeny bit of lag between when you actually touch, when you actually make it. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just. Trying to record this and play at the same time. Um, some other things about it is it has a lot of features that the Galaxy S3 should have, such as multitasking. Uh, it's, it's, you see, it still has the same multitasking bar. You can throw away apps like this. Um, however, it doesn't have the bottom options to go to Task Manager or just close all the apps. You have to close them one by one. It's still good though. Overall, this phone it performs pretty good as an Android phone. It's a very good phone. Now, the ultimate question I want to ask is, is the Gal Galaxy S3 worth the $400 difference? Um, I'm thinking probably not. You know, The difference between this and the Galaxy S3 is really the displays are pretty much the same. This is a very, very good display. It is an AMOLED, AMOLED screen. Um, it has the same pixel resolution, 1280 by 720. The only difference is it's it's missing some features. A little bit of things here and there, such as notification, the light isn't here. Um, it is slower. It is missing. It's half of the it's half the speed. Um, it's missing 512 megabytes of data of RAM from for that matter. But it's still overall a very great phone. And the Galaxy S3 is not worth $600. It is, it is not worth the $400 difference. Um, of this phone right here. Um, this phone is very very good um, however it's only it's, it's a SIM card so a lot of people with Verizon or Sprint they can't use this phone because Verizon and Sprint don't use SIM cards I'm pretty sure but people over with T-Mobile with AT&T and other phones such as that that use SIM cards it'll work uh, I don't I don't think I think that's it people this is my review of this phone